Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. This is another paid request. It's time for Brian, also known as Old Curly Jaws. And for those interested in requesting pretty much any type of videos, topics, reactions, reviews, re reviews, uh, randomness, out of the blueness, whatever it may be, uh, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. Thank you once again. Uh, he wanted me to do a commentary on a film I never even heard of called Treasure Chest of Horrors, but it looks god awful. Plus, apparently this has Pooh Duder, Sean Phillips, so I already know it's awful. Just anything he's in is awful. Even his YouTube channel. I'm sorry, if you like Pooh Duder, that's fine. To me, not really for me. I mean, I'm not, I have no ill will against the guy. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. It's just, eh. Congrats on you know him losing weight and such and doing well in life. It just I don't know. It seems like to watch his videos more about hey what came out this week because he buys everything. I don't know how he affords it, but hey that's his deal. But I've seen some films. He was I think Bigfoot was one. It just awful. So I'm gonna be doing this a different way because. The weird thing about this film, I'll get to in a minute, is there's two cuts of the film. And I have to make sure to watch the longer cut, because the longer cut is 1 hour 11 minutes and 57 seconds. But, there's a cut of the film that's only 56 minutes long. And apparently, it seems like, flipping through it, for some reason, some versions of this film, they cut out the cool duder segment. Which is like a vampire segment, it looked like. I don't know why. I don't know if there's some issue going on, some things going on. But, yeah, certain versions of this film, with Sean Phillips and M. Kelly, I think M. Kelly was his, used to be Buddy. I don't know what the whole deal is. I think there's some reason why they split up. I don't, I don't know the history you feel free to comment in the such you know comments down below. But yeah, in some versions that entire segment was cut out. So you have to make sure to watch the longer version. So with that said, have a pause at the beginning. Three, two, one, pressing play. Worldwide multimedia. Look like a bunch of shot on shitty stuff. And then Psychic Junkie. Don't know how to spell Psychic. Pictures. Spell Psychic with a K at the end. Treasure Chest of Horrors. This looks like a loser of a movie already. Sean C. Phillips, that proves that it's going to be a bad movie. Lord Kaufman, that also proves it's going to be a bad movie. Payman, Sayyidi, M. Kelly, that also proves it's going to be a bad movie. Doug, Daniel Bailey, Dan Pulica, Ethan Phillips. Is that related to Sean Phillips? Tinny Jones. Stephen Phillips. So it's the whole Phillips family. James Faust of the damned. Tim Phillips. Phillips Screwdriver next. Sari. Melody Matthews. Nick. Martin Muncher. Jenny Hoover Vacuum Cleaner Stephen Wagner Jimmy Baloney Edited by Sean C. Phillips That's your problem Feature Editor James Cullen Bress Written by Sean C. Phillips That's your M. Kelly That's your problem Doug Directed by John C. Phillips M. Kelly Doug 
So, Sean C. Phillips, his segment is the only one singular. The other is by this other guy, Doug. So maybe he cut out his, like, this is my own movie. If I cut his segment out, because everything else I edited and directed. So maybe that's why there's another version where they cut the cool dude bit out. Like, I don't have to pay him if it's not in this. Thank God the microphones pick up all the wind. And some guy being over the top of oh, there. So they shot on some random beach. Looks like a movie that costs eight dollars and seventy two cents. Of course all the different sounds depending on each edit it does. And why does it have this Hawaii music? Guess we're meant to believe he's in Hawaii? Skull Island, yeah. Where's Team Con when you need him? Well, this way it looks like a cross, but... I mean, the Hawaii music doesn't really work. That's a late way to have an X, because the wind could have moved that X any day, time. And for some reason, the shot is dirt flying in the air. That's going to land in your hat. Like, they couldn't have a shot of him as he did in. Like, you could have literally took a shovel, dug a hole, and put that in, and film it, you did it up, and finding it. Cheap ass. Okay, why is this like tissue paper on it too? And there's like scotch tape on it. Why is there scotch tape on the thing? Scotch tape? Why is it like fake cobwebs you would get at the Halloween store for Halloween? VHS tapes. You know, if it was VHS tapes of, like, those Disney ones that you could sell for, like, $100 each, then you struck gold. These are all a bunch of, like, used tapes with just shit written on marker. They ain't worth much. I mean, maybe you'd get a couple bucks on eBay, but... And we're squat. I think the camera's just bundling down, trying. It's like trying to put the camcord down, and when you do, it's like kick, 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 shit. Was that guy? Was the up closest mouth trying to match the words? To didn't quite get there. And why did you try to do it in the first place? Is that um? And then. It looked like a fucking Godzilla movie. Rotten Classmates. So it's an anthology movie. Yeah. <laughs> that tape ain't gonna play the first time. You'd have to try it three times for it to play. So Rotten Classmates, you have people just dancing in the hallway at school. And someone going, what do you think you're one of the bushwhackers? <laughs> the guy leaned on a chair and fell and they kept it in. Like he leaned on, oh shit. <laughs> they kept it in, are you kidding me? Great edit, it cut right in the middle of like a music cue. Is that supposed to be a fat guy or a fat girl? And then random music cues. Okay, this guy's putting on a prison orange jumpsuit. What you nails? Go fight the Undertaker. 
fall fire yeah they remember nails with a z okay glad is a lot darker so you can't see what he's putting on I okay thanks for the other shot because they're gonna tell it was a gas but there's a boom mic I th is it a boom mic no that's a light on the tower though no, that wasn't a boom mic Oh yeah, I'm so cool, even though I dropped my phone. Why are you dancing in the hallway? People that bored? Do people just randomly do this? I'm going to dance in the hallway. There's literally a kid down the hallway. He didn't see a person get dragged in and screaming bloody murder. And by the way, he's telling people for what? Because they took his drawing and made two wisecracks? What the hell happened? I guess he put scissors in the eyes. And then he did this, which scissors ain't that strong, to do this. They could barely cut paper. Oh my god, I got a bunch of crayon on my hands. I better wash it. Or ketchup. Plus, is it a bit conspicuous to go around with a gas mask? What the hell is he doing? Why is he covering his mouth? Okay, so you tripped the guy. You almost smashed your damn head in the damn bench. And there's barely... The thing that you put your mop in to wash, the guy put the head in there to crush it, I guess. And we only notice there's a little bit of fucking sauce dribbling onto the thing. can't hear your dialogue dude I can't hear what you're saying dude you got something in your mouth the music's too loud and no one notices a guy in an orange jumpsuit with a gas mask walking around school yeah okay no one notices that What they do, like, hey, school, everyone likes to dance in hallways in this movie, or this segment. Everyone likes to just dance in hallways. I don't know what the deal is with that. Stupid. I just want to... What the hell? So it's trying to be like a slasher film, only it's really stupid and really lame. But she screamed and almost laughed. Lady, you're bigger than him. You could punch him and knock him out. And land on him and kill him. What do you do, don't change to a crappy song and her die from a stroke? He's not even changing the volume, he's just changing songs. Why doesn't she just hit his hand? Or unplug the headphones? Are the headphones stuck to her ears? She can't just take them out? Why can't she do this? She died from music too loud? Why didn't she do this? Why didn't she just do that? Because the movie is stupid, that's why. Apparently the headphones were just glued to her ears or something. She twitched it. And it's like the little ones. So she should start... Pop. This is so stupid. This is like a... I've seen YouTube videos do better than this. This is like a lame YouTube video. 
How the hell did this get on 2B? That's someone outside. I think they're driving away to get away from this movie. I think somehow they knew I was watching this film. They're like, I'm going to get the hell out of here. They drove away. So now this guy has teleportation powers. And I guess no one knows how to fight. Oh my god. The guy throw a pencil. And it, it tried to have a POV. But you did hear. You know how you have a camcorder. You, you hear someone fumbling with it. And then the pencil. Is in the guy. But it's like this. So imagine, oh my god, the soda is in me. It's, you see, it's in me. It's in my neck. Ah. What is this shit? This bullshit. What the hell is this movie? Is the, is the music high now? No, 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 no. Now they zoom what this guy doing the crisscross. <laughs> and the camera went like boom. Boom 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 boom. God, this movie doesn't Okay, I got you a headlock, but barely a headlock. So now I rate. Okay, like the So what happened to him? Did he get stabbed in the head, in the throat, in the face? So new people now ripped his paper up the next day. So the next day all these kids disappeared, died, and no one noticed. So apparently if you rip this guy's paper, he'll just put on a gas mask and kill people. <laughs> Somebody teleport into their car? <sighs> Jesus Christ. A wicked twist ending? Not really. Okay, just wait. I uh, pause one second. I'm about fifteen minutes in, give or take. I'm right where maybe like fourteen fifty nine. Okay, on two B, I'm on fourteen fifty nine. If you watch this on two B, his hand is reaching up to vampires of lust. Three, two, one, pressing play. Just want to make sure the. Vampire's list. <clears throat> oh my god. This acting is garbage. I pulled my balls. What the hell is this about? Oh yeah, this is one of the guys from the Cool Duder show. This is what M. Kelly. So again, depending on which version you see, this whole thing could be cut out. I guess because they don't want to play pay Cool Duder the money. It's on the Tubi one, but. God, this acting is garbage. So there's M. Kelly. He used to work with Cool Duder. They did those reviews where they had all the wigs and they acted really weird and 
awful accents and I don't understand I just I didn't if you liked them that's fine I don't understand the appeal but I mean they were able to get movie roles and do movies think Coulter directed like an Amityville film and so the guys that did it told me he directed Amityville Karen what the hell is that oh my god what kind of puppetry is this? Did even leave a mark on his neck? Might as well lit it. Oh my god. My eighty brighty heart. It went up straight to my neck. Must have dropped it. Yeah, I'm sure you did. I don't know. Can you at? Is that really the best take you got? Video you all. Video you all. And you see in the back. There is literally in that scene when he says that, there's a reflection where you see a person holding the damn camera, man. You can literally see someone doing this and the reflection behind him when he walks off and you see the reflection off a of damn. Come on. Was that a. like a split second? Should have known you saw that Daily Night 5 poster. Uh. Again, these two I know used to do videos. Oh, apparently, M. Kelly got married and didn't invite Sh Cool Dude or Sean Phillips to the marriage. Where apparently, there's a lot of reasons why they fell out. Hmm. Well. <clears throat> so, be okay, you do see two puncture wounds on the neck. Barely. Well, you do see a reflection. But now he's got black fingernails. Uh, you're sick. You got, you got SARS. Dude, just because you do YouTube videos doesn't mean you know how to act. Of course, there's Cold Duder. Who do his voice sound like a virus in that scene? Yo, dude, this is gonna be radical, dude. The whole movie, not a cloud movie, dude. Jesus Christ, I'm a pedestal of shit. But you don't turn white! So true! Here we go! What the hell is he doing? He's trying to act, he's doing like this? It's like, let's be over the top stupid to be funny, and it just comes off as annoying.
he's shaking a tree and looks like he's having an orgasm. What kind of movie is this supposed to be that he's filming? And dude, you don't move the camcorder like this when you're trying to film. He barely even knows how to use the camcorder. Don't be kidding me. Why are you going up to touch his forehead with the camcorder, dude? <clears throat> so now Cooters pretend to throw to hit a baseball with a bat that isn't there and now he's pretend to be home run and now they're going to a soccer net now they're on a near a basketball court and MTL is just running down for what reason now he's pretending to smoke a joint that's not there what is the point? This is just random. Don't fucking lie. You did not do a great job today. You did jack squat of shit. I swear, sometimes the flat fingernails disappear, then they reappear. Not this scene, but like some of the other stuff. My problem is you. In this shitty movie. Ain't worth a pot to piss in, ain't worth a spit on the wall. He's in love with you. He wants to kiss you. Don't be homophobic. So there's all these posters, there's like The Mist, there's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Well, you haven't been acting. <laughs> well, someone called for you. It was some older gentleman. I still wonder what jobs did these guys work at to afford so much of these like weekly DVD stuff and be able to do all this. I guess they was hoping all the cool Duder fans would buy this movie up. And that's why they did this. Just wondering, what does this get on time to be? Of course, no, it's a very, very fake fog. 2.7! A whopping 2.7. Go figure. A whopping 2.7. Yeah, why well, I'm in this crappy movie and why am I sucking so much as an actor? I'm not wrong.
a Count Chocula. You one that bit me, why do you look like me? A Daywalker? Isn't that Blade? What do you mean a Daywalker? So he can walk during the day? This is pathetic. Pathetic. Again, yet again, one of those things it shows you can literally just do and film anything. Why did it go to black for like two, three seconds? Like in the middle of his stream? The stream. I mean, that tooth is bits up. The stream went black for two, three seconds in the middle of his stream. Now he's got these really fake thing, fucking. Hey, there's Earl from Dinosaurs on the left. Not the mama. So I guess I had to mention he's a daywalker to show they can only shoot these scenes in the daytime. How is this guy? <clears throat> Why does this guy have a chain with like a little padlock on his neck? You don't know if that's a map. Good. Kill his stupid ass. Is Cooter just holding his pants? Why is he screaming that the videotape's done? And he's like holding his pants so his pants don't fall down. Like he's running but he's like holding his pants. Get a belt then so that you don't have to worry about holding your pants up. Why is the tape blue? Alley. You don't notice the fangs? At least we agree on something. It was a piece of shit. You film it, why? They just mumble? Why did he mumble? He didn't even say the word. What? That's the end? What? Okay, wait, wait, pause, pause, pause for a second. Yeah, I know it's 30 minutes, 30 seconds if you're on to uh, Tubi. Again, pause, pause, pause. I know. If you're on Tubi, watch this 30 minutes, 30 seconds, pause. So, we don't know, we don't see him eat the one guy. Nothing to that. What's he going to do with the body? Did he hide it? Is he going to hide from his parents or wherever the hell they, those people were? And then why are they going to watch Woodchipper Massacre? That was a random... I know what that movie is, but that was a random reference and... Okay. Whatever. 3, 2, 1, press and play.
What's he doing get now? By the way, why was it called vamp? I swear the tape was called Vampires in Lust. What lust? There was no lust in it. So why was the tape itself called that? Resident Emo? Or like Resident Evil, but it's Emo? Resident Emo. Oh my god, man. Dude, you can't do anything with those kind of scissors. <clears throat> Some guy is just spreading a bunch of jam on his wrist. Supposedly cutting it. Some guy in a yellow suit talked like, Hello, how's it going? And the other one's like, Oh my god, I'm so emo. <laughs> Jesus. No one stopped him and go, Wait a minute, that's not the way to do it. This, There's so much... I don't even know what to say. What is this editing? It just... Random people saying this and that, and someone said the N-word, and someone said this, and... The... E This guy has like markings on his eyes. He, he's doing this. You ain't no quarterback. Why did they get one of the wannabe Revenge of the Nerds to be the quarterback? Dude, you just got pushed to the ground. There's, there's nothing to cry about. The only thing I have to come for me is emo music. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Again. Don't have music louder than your dialogue if you want us to hear what the hell they're saying. Now he's trying to come sub with the address label. So you guys sent a saw blade? I guess the. And then cut to the next day. Okay. Why did it cut to the next day? Oh, just so Lord Kaufman can have a cameo? So we did Lord Kaufman to sit on a toilet, bunch of fart and shit noises. And Lloyd just talking.
Lloyd Kaufman's just willing to be in anything. This guy, I'm sorry, I'm not a fan of trauma. I'm not a fan of trauma movies. I'm not a fan of Lloyd Kaufman. I remember seeing, what was it? The making of Tati the Avenger 4? And they showed like a documentary of the making of. And he came off as the biggest douchebag ever in that documentary about making of Citizen Totsie. He came off as the biggest dickhead, dumbass douchebag. And ever since, I'm like, screw this guy. You don't make good movies. Your company sucks. You do cameos in like angry video game nerd videos and anywhere where someone will give you 20 bucks. Let's just see like, if you give him 20 bucks, he'll be in a video. Like, how much, how much do you think they could... It's not like, no, they probably did maybe a hundred bucks. And we did Lloyd Kaufman. Now he's talking about glazed ham and pineapple sugar ham. So he warned... Okay, so the toy wasn't even up. He literally was just sitting down... He was sitting on a closed toilet. Like, literally, Lloyd Kaufman was sitting on a closed toilet. They didn't even have it lifted up and him sitting there with his pants down. Not that I want to see that, but... You literally did that the whole time with him on a closed toilet. MySpace. No one cares about MySpace. Later at school... Does anyone even understand what the plot is in this segment? Sorry about that. Had to do something real quick. And so I'm back. I know it's a lot of these stops and starts, but this is also a film that, despite a short runtime, it feels three times as long. But about 38 minutes, 11 seconds, if you watch this on Tubi. So, 3, 2, 1, pressing, play. God, there's still 30-some minutes left in this movie. My God, man. <laughs> At the principles? And they spell principles wrong. They spell principles with P-L-E-S. When it's supposed to be principal, like P-A-L. It should be Principal's office. Post if he, uh, They don't even know how to spell principal. Now why is there a guy who is shaking and farting? So now there's blood on top of this guy. He was on his back, the next shot, now he's face down. There's constant fart sounds, there's blood. I don't know what the hell's going on. This this might I I can't believe it, but cool dude said is better than this. This one is just incomprehensible. And sporadic. This says a lot that cool dude and MJ Filmed a better segment than you did. Doug Waugh. Yeah, this Doug guy is a worse director. I didn't even have time to cut myself yet. Now we're outside and this person is choking the girl.
now in a swing there's some kid just moving his arms is that supposed to be a mentally challenged person or going I don't even know what happened. The person got stabbed, but now he's just acting normal in this. And they ripped his shirt, but now there's guts. Or sp spaghetti poured in front of his shirt. Just random spaghetti. It's, it's literally spaghetti. A guy mentions he's got to take a crap, and then the other guy just randomly said, Fuck Bill Cosby. This is literally just randomness going on, no rhyme or reason. This other guy just standing there staring. Now this fire hose. No one bothers to fight. The guy just keeps saying piss and shit. They try to make it seem like the guy got his arm ripped off. Oh my god. This is pathetic. He keeps saying shit and shit, and now he's laughing about it too. The girl just went by a dead body and said, It was nice knowing you, and then before she finished the sentence, the scene faded. So this guy works for DHL, which is a crappy mailing service. I've dealt with them once or twice and they were terrible. Maybe not all of them are terrible, but the two I dealt with were terrible. So now I guess everyone's becoming zombies if they deal with cutting or something. Each person they kill becomes a zombie. They stab the guy with a stick. Oh my god, this is pathetic. Some curse. I, I remember now there's some curse. This woman's Fangoria magazine. Everything in that mag magazine is better than this. These people don't know how to make a film to save their life. They don't know anything about editing. They don't know anything about continuity. They don't know anything about... Hey Boo? Why was a text on screen saying, hey boo? I did, do not have the music louder than the dialogue so we can't hear it. So a guy got shoved down. Now some guy's just doing, I love grass and pulling grass. And then a guy literally goes, oh! No, there ain't no brains in this. Trust me, there ain't no brains in this production. Well, you do something better. I have. My fucking videos, my fucking reviews are better than this. I could say that. And 
not to toot my horn, toot toot. I bet I could find, and I believe me, my videos aren't good either, but I could find more people that enjoy one of my rants that's an hour long than this video, which is like an hour and 11 minutes long. And that was me sitting here just talking. Is this other guy named Sweet Pea? And when the guy talks, he talks like this. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. So pretty much it's about emos turning to zombies because of a curse. just awkward editing like he's standing then he's on the ground then they use a fake head and they just smash it against the door no rhyme or reason they were on another random group of people I don't think we've ever seen these people before This person sniffed money like cocaine, and they cut to the person watching, and you have crickets. Yeah, the entire movie should be supplied with crickets. Then this woman decides to piss in a cup, but then take her pants down. So I don't know how she pissed. Unless she's secretly a boy and has a sleepaway camp of her own. No one thinks piss tastes good, dude. No one will be fooled. <clears throat> You're not looking too good today. Like, who the hell was this per? I don't even remember who this person was. God, this just keeps going on and on and on. It just keeps treading on and on and on. Terrible actors. Little Light Cost Two Dollars. <sighs> Trash editing. When someone dies, they become a zombie, and it just keeps going on and on and on. So splash the cup onto her, then she says I'm on fire, then she runs away, now she is shitting against a tree, and you see legs behind her, behind the tree. Then she's screaming shitting, slipped. She's streaming, kicked her legs up, and there's no one around, including the zombie. And somehow, it's getting on to this guy, and then he fell. He can't get up. This is absolutely pathetic. I know another movie to put on my worst films list. This is this is this is worse than Veronica, the one that Danza did as an anthology. This segment alone is f 
Katie Forever. I don't know, like, what would be... This is definitely up there for worst. This might be worse than Razor Teeth. Like, for crying out loud. Bidfoot vs. DB Trooper, at least I saw, I think there's some nudity in there, at least I saw. They come with razors, sharp as class, resident emo. They want to take your brain. I can barely read the thing. I don't put it between hip hop locos and razor teeth. <sighs> no, actually, you know what? I don't put it between Howling 7 and the time machine I found at a yard sale. This is absolute garbage. This might be. Yeah, this might be the worst anthology I've seen. I mean, I thought Veronica was bad, and you think Creepshow 3 is bad? This is way worse. So, yeah, this is... I'm glad it's finally over. Yeah, this is up there now. Feeders, Feeders 2, Alien Beast, a Serbian film, every nostalgia credit movie, every Neil Breen film, The Wet Ones, Howling 7, and then we'll put Treasure Chest of Horrors. We got where I would rather watch the Star Crystal and Nuti than your movie? Then that says a lot. Hip Hop Locals have more of a sense of direction than this. And my stomach agrees with me. I know, I know. I guess I'll eat after this. Who gives a shit? I bought. I'll buy you a mannequin. Oh my god. This guy's selling a mannequin, I will give him a call. Call the Ghostbusters for all I give a shit. Call Jesus. Tell him he's pissed. Jesus is back and he's pissed. Please call the Ghostbusters. Please call, I don't know. Call the bomb squad. He's got a giant bomb right here in front of me. Call the ambulance. Because people watch this will have a stroke. Or they'll fall asleep and they'll go into a coma. Oh my god, man. Yeah. What kind of accent is that? I don't even know what kind of accent the fucking is. I, I don't even know what kind of fucking accent that is, dude. I really don't. Yeah, yeah, Yolanda, you said like 18 times. 100 bucks. That ain't worth 100 bucks. That ain't worth 100 cents. Oh, 100 bucks. Hey, Yolanda. <laughs> Idiot. 
Everyone in here is an idiot, a moron, a putz. Dip stit, dip squat, dip shit, dip fuck. Okay, they're trying to get the manikin. Manikins are not that hard to move. So, okay, this segment, there's four, thankfully, on the last story. This was about a mannequin that this girl was buying. Con... I can barely even read that thing. I was supposed to say congratulations? And someone didn't know how to spell or something? What the hell is that? Is that even supposed to be a cake? That guy almost wearing the same type of shirt I was. He he looks just like I feel sleeping on the couch. He's like That's how I feel, dude. And we're wearing the same shirt. It's a brother from another mother. How are you doing? I know how you feel, man. She's eighteen. Stop stuffing your face. I'm going to stuff your face with my fist. They look like the same age. Why we have potato chips for cake? It's gross. I don't know what the hell to say. I really don't. A guy's trying to fuck a mannequin and he's doing it wrong. You don't try to fuck something with your pants on, dude. I don't want to see a guy with his pants off, but you're trying to fuck it with your pants on. Yeah, that's not how you do it. Oh, uh, well, I spoke too soon. What are you doing, dude? Oh, you put the mannequin hand. 
So I guess the idea is the mantine hand. That's supposed to be his dick. It looks like a like a small whoopee cushion. So it's a birthday party, this guy got his balls taken. He got a bit old streak of blood on him, no one's like checking anything. And this is supposed to be the mannequin walking out? It's like trying all these angles to hide the mannequin. Like someone just going doo, doo, doo. They're not doing their hardest to stop her. What did it do? Slap her? I want to go to Slouse. Does he laugh at how stupid this whole thing is? Okay, the mantine hand just flew. And now it's on her head. This guy woke up. He woke up as like, oh, this is a party. If he would just left and escape, he'd be my favorite character in the movie. His head, her head went to the cake. How did that hurt her? How did they even kill her? What? The candles went in her eyes. It's a house. You don't know where to go. It's your house. You don't know how to escape your own house. Thank God there's only nine minutes left in this damn film. I'm glad. Man, you just don't come alive. Well, it's not alive. It's just someone on the ground just moving it like this. So that girl isn't dead, she just got knocked out. You just kicked in the guy? Oh, she's he's moving too, so he's not dead. I just woke up to say she took my balls. What does Tanny Abel have to do with this? What does Tanny and Abel have to do with any of this? So they mentioned, the guy mentions Tanny and Abel and immediately they go into believe in him and saying yeah if we kill him that will fix things. And then she's going to kill him with literally a bit razor. Trust me, that barely cuts your hair, let alone a throat. <laughs> oh my god. So they cut the guy's throat with literally like a bit razor. Oh my god. And again, they just assume that would work for what reason? Because the guy said Ten and Abel, and he said, In Ten and Abel, you have to make a sacrifice. What the fuck does that have to do with the mannequin? And why do you think that guy just. Uh, 
That's a real leap of faith to just jump into a murder. Hmm. By the way, you guys just murdered someone. How you don't explain that? God, there's six minutes left. So that's six minutes too long. That also includes the credits. That includes the pirate guy. Oh, uh, the word Yolanda. Yolanda, Yolanda is dead. Hallelujah! You also murdered someone. You've been. They keep calling the guy fat fuck. Well, you guys also murdered someone. Just saying, you murdered someone. By the way, you guys murdered someone with a big razor to throat. That's the rubbish. Of so what happened to the... I guess the black guy didn't die. So you go. Know, the black guy lived. Okay, who is this guy? So random guy is looking in the trash. Okay, he's gonna find a tape and is that Cool Duder again? Or is that someone that looks like Cool Duder? I think that's Cool Duder. Eating a tomato and spitting it out. So how do you explain all these dead bodies? How do you explain you guys murdering someone with a big razor to the throat? How do you explain anything? Are you just gonna hide the dead bodies? Are you just gonna lie to everybody? Or... Was that one girl even dead or alive? She was by the door and then she fell through. How did she even die? So some guy just... I think Kudur, I don't know, just left with the tape. That is the end of our show tonight. Just remember, there's plenty of treasures all over, everywhere. There ain't no damn treasure. The treasure is that this is over. Thank God. M. Kelly did Vampire's Lust. Oh, Sean C. also did Vampire's Lust. And Dud did Ron Classmates, Resident Evil, Mama, It's a Mannequin, and the host segment. So yeah, Dud did everything else. So maybe that's why he did in some versions. They just cut out the cool duder segment. <clears throat> this was god awful. This was terrible. This is... Now the worst anthology of... Well, I guess technically... If you want to call Nostalgia Critics Films anthologies... I guess I would say those are the worst, but... Because those are like three hours long. But horror anthology... I'll say... The worst horror anthology is this one. It used to be... Veronica... It used to be... I forgot. There was a found footage one that I completely forgot... So, must I, I mean, it was forgettable. So, I'll just, whatever. This one is just poor in every front. For a movie this short, it feels twice, three times as long. There's not a single noteworthy idea. There's not a single noteworthy performance. There's not a single laugh. It's poorly edited. It's poorly acted. It's poor in every single way possible. Every single way possible. 
every single one. I mean, nothing made sense. The third story meandered. None of the stories made any lick of sense. The first one, like the guy could teleport wherever he wanted to, and all this stuff. The last one, they murdered someone just out of the blue just because. So yeah, it was him as the homeless guy. Cool duder. Says here, Vampire's Lust, and then Mama, it's a mannequin, Homeless Joe. So that was cool duder. So I guess they could keep that in and still say he's in it. But... I mean, the, I just think of, like, the worst anthology I've seen horror film-wise. I did Veronica, Creepshow 3. Let me state that. Creepshow 1 and 2, I like. Creepshow 3 is awful. But when Creepshow 3 is a better anthology than yours, Veronica is better than yours. Veronica. Again, the... Was that Danzig? Who the hell did Veronica? I said Danzig, but I don't know if that's true. I don't know. Who did Veronica? I thought it was Glenn Danzig. Want to double check. This was just... You want to see it for yourself, be my guest. Yeah, Glenn Danzig did Veronica. I thought that was the worst anthology, but this beat it. Horror film anthology, at least. Good luck watching this. One of my cats is moaning. Yeah, I know. It's it's over. Thankfully. So, with that said, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. I need to wash my brain out with soap and water. Piss and vinegar. We'll see. Thanks once again, Brian. Old Curly Jaws. For those interested, requesting pretty much any type of commentaries, reviews, topics, rankings, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or drop a Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.